What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and I am super excited to make this video because this is a kind of video that you're not used to see on my channel but I wanted to make an exception because as you can see Contour Design was kind enough to send me this Shuttle Pro V2 computer controller and this is basically the tool that is going to take your editing and everything like that next level. About this device, it is basically a little tool that you can place next to your keyboard for example and you can use all the shortcuts. I'm gonna explain to you guys in detail what it is. We're gonna open it up together and then you can also find the link in the description if you want to pick up this device and I can really really recommend it because this can also help you speed up your video editing process, everything like that. Okay, so the first thing that we see is the box, obviously, and it says Contour on the top, and then it says Shuttle Pro. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up this package, and then we're going to see what's inside. Okay, so if you open up the box, as you can see, there's a little white box inside of it. There's a little handle right here that you can pick, and then it slides out real, real nice. Okay, so this is basically the box that it comes in, so we're gonna open it up. I think it is on this side. Yes, it is, so we're gonna open it up, and as you can see, right here, we have the device itself. So this is basically the Contour Shuttle Pro uh, V2 that you guys have to check out because it is something that I've been using for the past few days and I can barely even work without this device. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of the box. You can slip this guy up as you can see so we can take it out. We can take it out with the cable, everything like that. Here it is. We're gonna put this guy aside for a second and then we're gonna take a look at what's inside. We have this uh, nice sticker sheet that you can apply onto the buttons of the device. As you can see, we have a lot of, you know, like pause and play and stop, reverse, preview, time code, set in, set out, everything like that. It's a nice little sticker sheet, as you can see. Very, very cool. So what else is in the box? We have a little manual or a little cart and you have to also download the software that I will be also linking down in the description because right here it says download the latest software driver at con and then here is a link but I'll make it real easy for you instead of you just pausing the video and typing everything like this I'll just leave it in the description okay so now let's move on to the guy itself we're gonna take out the box it simply works with USB let's see if I can zoom a little bit more there we go so this is basically the device up close and what you can do with this device I will take my laptop in just a second but I'm first gonna explain you know the the whole device itself. So as you can see right now, we have a few buttons right here, for example, like preview or uh, go back, just lower the volume of your editing software or, you know, lower it. And you can also go ahead and, you know, skip frames for a second. If you want to move up a few frames, you can just, t you know, twist this guy and you will also feel some gently clicks. That's also very nice. You can also configure everything how you want it. You can also turn this guy, as you can see, that, will, that works also very, very nice that you can also apply and configure for your editing. So right here, we have a lot of buttons, for example, like cut and uh, delete and preview and pause or rewind and fast forward. It is just the options are endless, guys. You can just basically configure this yourself. You can also configure these buttons, for example, save your projects, close your project, so many different things. And like I've mentioned, you can also use those really small stickers to put those like on these buttons right there to just, you know, so you can look down and see which button which is. So that's a very cool feature. Okay, moving on to actually using this device, I'm going to take my laptop with me. Okay guys, so now that Windows has started up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply undo this little clip of the cable and then we're gonna just basically connect it with our computer. Then we're gonna plug it in the USB, like that. And then it's going to take a little moment to configure the device and then we're gonna get the drivers and then we can get started. Okay guys, right now we're currently installing all the drivers and the link is obviously in the description like I've mentioned. And once you have all those, we're gonna boot up the program and then we can get started. All right guys, so this is basically the driver as you can see. And the handiest thing is just record it this way because as you can see, if I press on any button on the Shuttle Pro itself, it's going to light up in the software. So as you can see, if I press any button, it's going to follow along. If I press this button and that button, if I rotate the wheel, as you can see, it lights up. If I rotate the black one, it's going to light up. 
So this is basically how you can configure this. Okay guys, so once we are in the settings, as you can see it says application setting and right here you can choose the program that you want to use it in. So right here we have Ableton, Adobe Audition, we have Adobe Illustrator, Lightroom, Lightroom Photoshop and you guys are obviously wondering, can you use this with Sony Vegas? So if I press S on the keyboard, as you can see right here it says Sony Vegas Pro 12. Sony Vegas Pro 13, we even have Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12, Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13. So this is obviously usable with Sony Vegas and that's how amazing it is. This is how you configure it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and open up our editing software. All right guys, so I'm just recording it with my camera onto the screen so it's a little bit easier to see. So if I'm gonna go ahead and twist on the Shuttle Pro like this, here is the beauty itself. As you can see, if I twist on this guy, if I go into Vegas, as you can see, the frames are all moving up. So that's basically how you can use this device. And like I've mentioned, you can configure this completely yourself. You can even, you know, configure, for example, that this guy is going to lower the audio and you can go frames back, frames further. You can use these buttons to cut. As you can see, that's a very, very cool topic. So guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank Contour Design for hooking me up with this device. And if you want to pick up this one, make sure to just go ahead and check out the description and that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video